Greetings guys, Sai here and welcome to my first What's in the Bag for Project Left. You cut me loose and set me free. You make me win in every way. You show me how to spread my wings. Yes, I'm the winner of the day. So I wanted to try and keep this What's in the Bag as close as I can to how a beginner would actually start playing golf. So all of these clubs have been either donated to me, given to me, or found. I'm gonna go through the different areas one by one uh, and show you what I've got. So first, in the wood department, I have got tailor-made R7, three wood, five wood, and seven wood. I came across these clubs by chance. One of my friends wanted a particular putter that was part of a job lot on eBay, and so I got the irons and woods that matched this putter. He just wanted the putter. I sold the irons separately, but could never quite shift the woods. So these have sat in my garage for probably just over a year. I've been thinking about this project probably for just over that sort of time as well. And they are actually perfect for me. They are plenty of loft, they're regular shafts, titanium heads, movable weights in there. So I'm looking forward to really kind of dialing these in and seeing where I go with them. It's unlikely I'm gonna carry three wood, five wood, and seven wood going forwards. And as I haven't done a gap fitting yet, I don't know which one I'm gonna actually settle on, or two. But they're perfectly spread out to hopefully give me some good distance off the tee, and maybe that long second shot, which I'm gonna need. Okay, so moving on. So now we've got the hybrids, irons, and wedges. They are all Nike Ignite, steel shafted, regular flex, Again, they're pretty much perfect for me. There is a three hybrid here. I've got a six iron, eight iron, pitching wedge, and sand wedge in the combination, which again is perfect for me. I don't need lots and lots of clubs. I don't want lots of confusion. Strike is gonna be the biggest issue for me to start with. So actually having a full set of irons and loads of wedges is probably gonna be quite confusing. So six iron, eight iron, pitching wedge, sand wedge with a hybrid is gonna be quite an interesting combination for me. So these clubs were given to me by Adam Trepp. Thank you very much, mate. He found these in a store cupboard where he works at the Suffolk Golf Club. I did have a complete mix match, a six iron, an eight iron, and a wedge of clubs that I found. But just a week before I started this project, he found these clubs for me in the storeroom. So thank you very much, mate. And I'm gonna be using these going forwards. The irons themselves, as you can see, are pretty heavily cavity back. They are well used. But this is really what a beginner would actually have. It's unlikely that a beginner would have amazing, perfect clubs to start with. So I think this gives kind of good context to what I'm gonna be doing and how a beginner would start. Okay, so moving on to the putter and I have my prized possession. So this is a 1960s ping answer. I have changed the grip because the grip was absolutely perished. Uh, I have put on Tour SNSR, which is probably the most modern thing in my whole collection. But yes, I'm really looking forward to using this. This was actually donated by my father. He picked it up a few years ago and it's just sat um, at my parents' house. When he heard of this project, he said, brilliant, I'm gonna bring this in. It's, it's gonna be ideal for you. He knows how much I love old putters. Two of my favorite golfers at this golf club actually use the right-handed version of this still. And again, these are the sort of things that happen when you're a beginner. You do get donated clubs, you do get given stuff. Um, and this putter is, is a prime example of that. The only issue I have with it is that somebody has indented a center line on here, which actually might help my putting out more at the moment, but uh, it's just a shame to have wasted such a good putter by slashing a line across the top. But there we go, minor, minor things. That's what happens when you pick up second-hand clubs. So there we have it, guys. Nine clubs that I'm gonna be using to begin my project left journey. That is my first watch in the bag. Every time this updates, I will update you guys. Maybe not with the whole bag if one or two clubs changes, but I'm gonna keep you guys up to date and informed whenever I make any bag changes. Hopefully things moving forward will give me some changes because I definitely don't wanna see myself using this kit forever. But as a beginner, and as for those first three cards that I'm gonna mark without any other testing, these are gonna be the ones I'm gonna use. So guys, hope you enjoyed that. Comment below what you think about these clubs. Do you particularly jealous of my lovely 1960s ping answer with sound slot? Do you remember playing the TaylorMade R7s? I remember having a right-handed driver of these uh, and used to really, really love it. So see how we get on with those. 
Did you guys have Nike, Nike irons? Did you use Nike products? Comment below, let me know what you think of my bag setup. And as always, thank you very much to those guys who do subscribe. It makes a massive difference to Adam and I, the people that do take the time to subscribe for free um, and get our content as soon as you release it. Click the like button, click the share button, share it around with all your friends, all that lovely stuff. We'll see you down here very, very soon. Bye-bye.